Another year, more Larceny Barrel Proof. This is the A124. Is 2024 off to a good start with Larceny Barrel Proof? Let's find out. It's the Mash and Drum. What's up, folks? I'm Jason C. Welcome back to the Mash and Drum. Like, subscribe, and help do all the things to help me hit 100,000 subscribers in 2024. Appreciate the support, everybody. So today, we are reviewing Larceny Barrel Proof A124. Coming off what's been a really good year for Larceny Barrel Proof in 2023. The B523 was really good. The C923 arguably could have been even better. But either one you went with for those two releases they were both top-notch batches of Larceny Barrel Proof. If you guys have watched my channel over the years, you know that back in 2020, when Larceny Barrel Proof was first introduced, I was not a big fan of it at all. I thought it tasted young, I thought it tasted harsh, I thought it was hot. For me, it was a bunch of just high-proof caramel corn that I was getting out of the bottle, and that was really it. But over the last couple of years, as Larceny Barrel Proof has hit its stride, we are starting to get into the same pattern that we see with Elijah Craig Barrel Proof, which is you have some batches that are really good, really solid, some of them maybe not so solid, and then most of them which end up being pretty damn delicious. So now that Larceny Barrel Proof I feel like has kind of started hitting its stride, let's see what the A124 brings. So here are the details. Larceny Barrel Proof A124 uses Heaven Hill's weeded mash bill of 68% corn, 20% wheat, and 12% malted barley. Now they say the age is reportedly about six to eight years old. It's non-chill filtered. It comes in at a proof of 124.2 and it retails still for about 60 to 65 bucks. All right, let's dive in and see what we got guys. It really does bring me immediately to that Cracker Jack type of note that I was used to with the earlier batches. Whether or not that's a good thing or a bad thing, I guess we'll see. But yeah, caramel corn for sure. A Little bit of peanut there as well, which is something you get in Heaven Hill. Yeah, kind of like that dusty, kind of like that that old school dusty like type of barrel note that you get. I'm getting a little bit in here, but there's a lot of vanilla and and something I I didn't get when I first tried this was a little hint of kind of a nice fruit forward uh, punch here, and I think it's coming in in the realm of like a maybe like a strawberry type note. This nose has definitely opened up since the first time I tried it. When I first cracked this open, like I said, it was just pure. Cracker Jack, just caramel corn and peanut. And now it's starting to evolve into something a little bit nicer on the nose. All right, let's give it a try guys, cheers. Great proof, great spice here. This is pretty straightforward, I think, of what you would get with a Larceny Barrel Proof. It's got a lot of spice. It definitely drinks a little bit hotter, I would say on this one. This doesn't really remind me of the B523 or the C923 from last year where it had this almost extra burst of sweetness. I feel like this is lacking that a little bit, but let me go for another sip here. Yeah, I feel like this is a little bit more spice driven, a lot of black pepper. I think that little punch of dark fruit is there uh, for sure. Really that caramel corn, the peanut flavor is there, a lot of vanilla. It's Definitely gotten sweeter, I think, since the first time I tried it as well. However, it doesn't have like that rich, brown sugary, caramel, you know, like that decadent type of uh, flavor profile that we got in last year's uh, uh, B523 and C923, as I mentioned. I know, I, I think that for this one, it's coming off as just, again, just another solid batch, but maybe nothing as exceptional as those other two. So that sip, it's really just kind of flattening out. I'm not really, you know, getting any more or less out of this sip. When I go back to it, it's, it's kind of staying even keel. It's, it's plateauing, probably a better terminology where I'm not really getting a lot of uh, extra flavors. Everything is just kind of leveling off. I'm just getting on the front of the palate. I'm getting that, that sweet, you know, vanilla, caramel corn type note. Get a little bit of a burst of a, of a dark fruit there. I think it's kind of like a bright strawberry note. And then on the palate, it's just a lot of black pepper, but kind of intermingled with all that is some, I don't know, it, I have like this youthful like corn wheat type note that's coming through as well. I mean, I don't think it's a bad batch of Larceny Barrel Proof, but I don't think it's a stellar one as well. Let's do a quick final breakdown. 
All right, so final breakdown of the Larceny A124. Price for this one, like I said, about 60 bucks uh, SRP. When you're looking at resale value, people usually will double the price of this, maybe up to 120. And as far as availability, I always say it's wonky because depending on where you live, what state you're in, you do not know when you're gonna be getting any of these three releases throughout the year. Sometimes they come in January when they're supposed to, sometimes they come in February, March. Sometimes some states don't even see the A release until the summertime, so just depends on where you are. Value for this one's very simple, guys. These are always gonna be pretty high. What you see is what you get with Larceny Barrel Proof, and I think the fact that there's not a lot of weeded cast strength options out there, especially from the bigger distilleries, I think that really helps the value of this one. What's the most I'd pay for this particular batch? I would not pay over retail to acquire this batch. So if you see it, make sure you're not paying any more than $60 plus tax. When it comes to other cast strength weeded bourbons for alternatives, you really kind of have to look into some of the smaller craft distillers that are putting out some great stuff. From the heritage distiller side, obviously you have Maker's Mark cast strength, which is always seems to be a favorite among weeded bourbon enthusiasts, especially if you like Maker's Mark. Weller Full Proof is obviously out there, but you know, still seems impossible to get for most folks. I mean, you have Boone County that does some cast strength weeded bourbons. You have, I mean, there are a lot of weeded bourbons out there. The, the issue is finding them at cast strength, but there are a lot of weeded bourbon options out there. Green River just put out a $35 affordable weeded bourbon as well. Again, a lot of great options, just finding them at cast strength is the issue. And also ones that are up to about six to eight years old. And lastly, is this a skip, a try before you buy or buy or back it up? Um, I think if you're a larceny enthusiast, you'll probably be picking this one up anyway. But for me, if you're on a budget, if you're trying to watch what you spend, you're being a little bit more selective as far as what you buy, this might be one to skip. Uh, I'm not gonna say skip, but maybe just say try before you buy. I'll probably edit that one to try before you buy just because you know, it's still a very solid batch of Larceny Barrel Proof. If you're expecting this to be as good as B523 from last year or C923, I think it's going to fall short. But for me personally, I'm going to stick with Try Before You Buy for this one because I, while I think it's good and solid, I think I'm hoping that B and C for 2024 will be even better. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this review for the new Larceny Barrel Proof A124. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit that subscribe button below. Please hit the like button. And if you haven't yet, find me on Instagram. Let me know if you've had this one yet, what you think about it. Uh, did you agree with me or do you think there's better things to come? Let me know down in the comments. And as I always say, it's not about the whiskey. It's the people you share it with. Cheers. See you next time right here on the Mash and Drum. Cheers, folks.